Hello my friends, my name is Lady Morales. It's such a pleasure to have you guys back for another video. And as you guys can tell by today's topic, we're going to be talking about Disney credit cards. Are Disney credit cards worth it? Are they not? Is it a swipe left on Disney credit cards? I'm gonna give you guys all the details and how you can either use or not use Disney credit cards to get the most out of saving money on your next Disney vacation because Disney World is expensive. Let's not sugarcoat it. Disney in general is expensive. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I've learned over the years about hacking my way into going to Disney World from another state to pay as little as humanly possible to get into the parks and how I do it and how I frequent there a lot. So if you guys are interested on how I used credit cards to hack my way into getting into Disney World for cheap, then keep on watching. with credit card training first before anything youtube credit card training for beginners now i will refer you to a wonderful awesome guy named graham stefan who got me into credit card churning and he's going to give you all the details on how to use credit cards to in the reward system and sign up bonuses and offers to your advantage and get free stuff pretty much who doesn't like free stuff i will say this is for people again i'm not a financial advisor but i will say that this is for people who are in pretty good financial health, wealth, whatever you want to call it. And if you guys are like tons in debt and you don't trust yourself with a credit card, then I would highly discourage you guys from doing this. But again, consult with a financial advisor, watch some of Graham Stephan's video because I am not qualified for this. But I have over the years learned how to use Disney, oh, not just Disney credit cards, but credit cards um, to my advantage and not be in debt and to just get more benefits than actual cons out of um, credit cards so I would encourage you guys to look into that first credit card training for beginners now today we're going to be talking about Disney's credit cards Disney has partnered with Chase Bank to create two signature credit cards they have the Disney rewards which is just a basic credit card there is no annual fee and you do get 1% back in purchases for the most part also, for the most part, from what I've seen, is if you open up a Disney credit card, you do get a $50 statement on your first um, credit card bill or credit card statement um, that you can use. And again, you don't have to do anything. There's no spending limit or spending deadline to get this bonus. It's just free $50 just for opening it up. And I actually started with this one when I first started building my credit a few years ago. And I mean, it was like i said it's basic it's the basic disney rewards card now the one that i have now is the disney premiere visa and it's almost a um, there's a, an almost 50 dollars annual fee for getting the Dis um, the disney premiere visa and you do get two percent back um now there are some exclusions there's other things that you still get one percent but you have more opportunities to get two percent back on certain purchases i will say for both disney cards you do get two percent back for for spending anything related to Disney and whether it be Disney Park, Shop Disney, you still get 2% back um, in, in, in rewards or in money. Some other benefits with the Disney Premier Visa though is you um, you also get a $200 statement just for either upgrading or signing up for the Disney Premier Visa. For the most part, I have seen you have to spend a certain amount of money by a certain amount of time to get the $200 statement. Sometimes you don't. It just depends. And the that money that you get back from your purchases, you actually get a little, a cool little awesome um, card so it's a reusable gift card that you can use at the Disney parks or wherever Disney gift cards are taken the cards are fine the Disney cards are fine are there better absolutely and we're about to get into that but I do want you guys to know that whether you spent money on your cards or not you still get the perks you still get to have these exclusive um, Disney card member meet and greets at the parks and other other special events you still sometimes there's only like 20 percent um, discounts or certain discounts for Disney card members that you can still use absolutely you will probably have to use your Disney card to get the to, to get the discount but you could just transfer that money and pay it off but but so you still get perks however I do think that there is a cheaper a cheaper way than just getting a gift card to only use at Disney to get the most out of saving money at your Disney vacation and I'm about to get into that so for me 
as I said, these are meh, they're okay. I think because I live in Atlanta and I do like to travel to Disney a lot, you know, plane ticket, I like to, I love, this is me being bougie, I guess you could judge me all you want, but I like to fly over there just be to get the most out of my time at Disney, because usually I could just go for a weekend or I don't stay that long. I use uh, travel cards, travel credit cards to to pay for either my flights, hotel stayings, discounts uh, for Disney. I don't use Disney cards because again, I've purchased so much on these cards and I put bills on these cards and paid them off. And I still just don't think I get the most out of the, of, of it, of these, of the usage of the, of these gift cards. And honestly, like I've even run into situations at Disney where the gift card options weren't even working. So I had to pay out of pocket anyway. If you guys are asking what travel credit cards I use, first before anything, I use the Delta Sky Miles gold medallion card. And with the Delta card, you get 60,000 points or 60,000 um, miles of worth of flight that you can use for Delta. And the same thing with American Airlines. I also got the same thing with American Airlines. And those have lasted me a while and I've been able what I've been doing is I've been I just put like all of my bills and all of my my to to purchases to pay for stuff and bills on the uh, Delta card and then I just transfer the money from my checking account and pay it off at the end of the month and that's how I start racking up these these points and I like I recently just went to Disney World and I did not pay one dollar for a flight ticket so not only that but there's another travel card that chase offers is called the chase sapphire reserve that you can use not only on flight but on hotels as well which i've heard a lot of people have used it on disney hotels and have gone to um to stay there for little to nothing and to, to stay at disney resorts i personally think that's a better option if you want to get the most out of it now i still recommend that you guys if you can again i'm not a financial advisor consult with a financial advisor first but if you guys want to get travel cards like the chase sapphire or the delta gold medallion card and then still get a disney credit card to still get 20 percent off on oh, i'm sorry to still get 10 percent off on purchases over 50 dollars and to still get money back and use um get the gift card to use at disney that's a, an amazing way to go and that's kind of the way i do it and of course i still get to reap the benefits and the perks of having a disney card without ever really using it so so you don't have to spend or have a you know have to have a certain spending um, limit or a certain spending amount to use your perks on your Disney credit cards but I do think that is probably the way to go so I guess long story short get a separate travel card that is going to let you rack up points miles or money to use towards flights to use towards hotels and ubers and all of that and then still get the disney credit card to still get the benefits and the perks of exclusive meet and greets of certain percentages off on disney shop purchases and other exclusive events that only card members who have the disney signature card are able to use and that's how you get the best of both worlds so so for the most part if i'm trying to use this specific card to get the most out of my disney um savings when it comes to disney world you're not gonna get much out of it let's be real let's be honest this is completely unbiased i think the better way to go about it is get a separate travel card so sep separate travel credit card and still get the disney card just to get the benefits and perks while you're at the parks or um when you're shopping at disney so that is kind of how i do it and if you guys want a little bit more of a detailed video on how i get to travel to disney world step by step super cheap then definitely let me know in the comments below but that's kind of how i've been able to hack my way into it i hope this video made sense and as far as getting signing up for a disney card i mean if you're responsible if you're familiar with credit card churning then i would encourage it just simply for the benefits and the perks but i don't think you're going to get the most out of saving a lot of money at disney world because again y'all disney world is expensive and, and we in a pandemic ain't nobody got time for that <laughs> so all right i hope you guys have an amazing day i hope you guys are staying safe and if you guys have any other questions or comments or feedbacks, let me know in the comments below. And I will talk to you on the next one.